In this video, I just want to go over the USC, the University of Southern California's undergraduate admissions for transfer students website. So if you've been following this channel, I actually did make a separate video, a similar topic, but solely on the UC colleges, the University of California colleges. So if you're a transfer student from community college and you're, and you're applying to these UCs, such as Cal, UCLA, UC San Diego, etc. I made a similar separate video for that. So if you want to check it out, I'll probably post the link somewhere. But since I transferred to USC and since I've graduated from USC, I just wanted to go over the USC's transfer website and see the information that they're giving and see how accurate the information that they are giving. Because I remember when I was at community college wanting to transfer to USC, I always went on this website to check out the transfer form, the requirements, and basically any updated U news that USC released for the transferring process. So let's go. By the way, I'm not gonna go over this entire thing. I'm just gonna skim over it and see the important points and then give you my personal perspective and thoughts on whatever this website talks about. Essential information. Successful transfer applicants, number one, present at least one year of rigorous full-time academic coursework with strong grades. Pretty obvious, uh, USC is a top 25 college in America and usually for the top colleges, they're not really looking for lackluster and mediocre grades. You don't have to have a perfect 4.0, but you do want want a somewhat strong resume, a somewhat strong transfer application. And if you want to have a strong college application, you need a minimum of one year's worth of community college classes that transfer over. So that's basically what they're saying. They're saying, hey, show us at least one year of rigorous full-time academic coursework. This is important, full-time, not part-time student, a full-time student with strong grades. So Strong grades, obviously A. Worst grade, probably a B. But aim for a 4.0, aim for all A's if possible. Another important thing that I wanna point out that they talk about is be consistent progress towards a degree in strong academic performance. So the key word here I wanna talk about is consistency. On a lot of my community college videos, I talk about the importance of consistency. You know, you can have great grades, you know, one semester or one quarter, but it's not really how you start out the community college race. It's how you end the race. It's easy to get a 4.0 for one semester, for a couple weeks, for a couple months, but can you do that for one or two years? That's when the gap gets smaller and smaller and smaller for successful transfers and unsuccessful transfers. It's how consistent can you be with your study? So far, first one that they talk about, I completely agree. Let's look at number two. Complete the equivalent of USC's lower division writing requirement, writing 130. So I don't know what writing 130 is, I forget, but I'm assuming it's the most basic writing class that any community college offers. This doesn't only apply to USC. A basic writing class, a basic English class, basic math class, that refers to any college in America, basically. It doesn't matter what major you are. You can be engineering, you can be art, you can be business, you can be journalism, you can be pre-med. doesn't matter what it is. You need basic writing basic math, basic English. And if you guys don't know what classes those are, I highly suggest you to go to your counselor at community college and ask them what the basic classes are for writing so you can get that sorted out. And coming from experience, writing class, English class, math class at community college is completely different from USC or any other four-year university. And I can tell you this for sure because I took a writing class at USC even though I enjoyed it, even though it was fun, it was very, very hard. And I consider myself a pretty decent writer. I consider writing as one of my strong points. But even for me, it was very difficult to even get a B in the class because teacher was, he was good, but he was strict and he was very specific. And that's not really the same for community college. So if possible, try to complete most of your GEs and the general education classes at community college because it is so much easier and it will save you a lot more time and effort. So far, I agree. 
two out of two. Let's look at number three. Meet our minimum math requirement by demonstrating a mastery of Algebra 2 in high school or intermediate algebra in college with a grade of C or better. Many majors require more math. So this basically is the same as the second one, whereas the second one talks about basic writing. You also need basic math. And math, even though I hate math, even though a lot of people are scared by math, they're not talking about calculus. They're not talking about statistics. Even though you can take statistics, I actually did take stats in community college. But you need to take basic algebra, basic math, and get a grade of C or better. And when it says C or better, that means get an A. If they ask you for a C and you get a C, yeah, you met the criteria, but you're probably not going to get in because all the people that you're competing against are probably going to get a B or an A. And then it also says many majors require more math, and that all depends on where you go. If you're usually the humanities, um, they don't really tell you to take more math other than basic math, but if you want to go into CS, you know, STEM, you know, pre-med, stuff like that, then indeed you have to take more math. Number four, make satisfactory progress towards meeting USC's GE requirements. So this is probably the most important one on this list so far other than the basic math and writing. GEs, for me personally, I completed every single GE that USC asked me to take at community college. I think it was a total of six GEs that USC asked me for, but I could only take four at community college. The other two, even if I wanted to take it at community college, I physically couldn't take it because USC didn't allow that to happen. So for the remaining two GEs, it was a mandatory requirement that I had to take it at USC. And I remember one of them was a history class and one of them was a writing class. I forget, but the history class I for sure remember because that was my first history class I took at USC my first semester. It was an 8 a.m. class and I got a D in the class, a D. And so I actually had to drop it and then take another uh, GE class the next semester. But that's a completely different story. And when it says satisfactory progress, don't take it face value. Get an A, aim for an A, so that when you apply to USC as a transfer student, your application is solid and that your application is competitive. For the math one right here, even though it says get a grade of C or better, it's the same concept. Aim for an A. Don't aim for a C. Don't aim for the bare minimum. If you aim for the bare minimum, you won't even get the bare minimum. You'll probably get below the bare minimum. In other words, you probably won't get in if you just try to do the basics. You gotta go above and beyond and try to excel in whatever you do. So far, so good. I agree with everything that they say. Number five, complete additional lower division courses required by their intended major if applicable. Refer to additional coursework by major, blah, 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 blah. So basically this is saying, hey, if you wanna apply to USC and get in or have a good chance of getting in, you have to know what major you're going into or at least a little sense of where you wanna go. And this is important because let's say I wanna be a business major at USC, then I can gear the lower division courses that I have that's related to business majors. So for example, you know, I could take psychology courses, business courses, you know, business calculus, statistics class, sociology class. But if I flip the script and I just blindly took random classes um, when I first start out community college, let's say after two years, I do decide to be a business major, then a lot of the lower division courses that you took might not even be related to business or even transferable. So you have to make sure you know what field you want to go to so that other than the basic classes like math and English, the other classes that you take, you can gear it towards your major and make sure that they're also transferable. So this is very important. And it actually says below, this is especially important for students pursuing degrees in science, engineering, architect, dental hygiene, or business. I feel like they're saying these specific majors because these majors are very class specific. If you're an engineering major, there are specific classes related Related to engineering that you have to take that's not related to any other major and that's the same for you know architecture business etc so the last one says students whose native language is not English must also demonstrate English language proficiency so this is pretty obvious if English is your second language and your main language is something else you don't have to be 100% fluent in English you don't have to be you know a master of 
the English language, but you have to somewhat understand the English language. You have to be somewhat competent so that when you go to USC or any other college in America that you can be able to communicate with your friends, with your peers, with your professors, with your counselors. So basically this is saying, dude, if you want to come here to USC, dude, you got to understand how to speak some English, which is pretty straightforward and pretty obvious. There's also a lot of other stuff um, below a separate section, but I'm just going to split this up into several videos because, you know, I don't like my videos to get over 10 minutes and I feel like this video will be over 10 minutes. Basically, if you want to transfer to USC and you're not sure, then this is a great starting point for you to find the essential information on how to successfully transfer to USC. A funny story, you see that, you see my mouse cursor and you see that building on the back that I'm circling. That's actually the office where I work. That's pretty funny. Hopefully you found this information somewhat helpful and I will continue to make more videos like these because I feel like it seems to help a lot of people. Adios.